And it is recording. All right. Hey, guys. It's me again. And yes, we are back to the webcam because we have another big uh, package here to open. And this, uh, and yes, I'm not showing, I am not showing the top of this because once again, I do not want you to see my address or my friend's address. Um, but as you can see, this is a nice long uh, rectangular box here. And this is yet another package from my uh, friend Ian Segawa, also known on YouTube as Punk and Metal Nerd 4. Um, so if, if some of you guys might remember, uh, last year, uh, right around uh, uh, August, uh, my friend uh, Ian, aka Punk and Metal Nerd 4, uh, who I talk to a lot, and I've sent him like rips of some of my uh, albums, um, he uh, he contacted me and uh, let me know that uh, he wanted me he wanted to sell me some uh, some albums that he had from uh, from a company called uh, Megalith uh, Records, along with a few other like international uh, ska CDs, and and uh, he gave me like, he sent me like pictures of all of them, and I bought a few off of them, and he also uh, threw in a few uh, extra goodies as well, some pretty cool uh, like Metallica VHS tapes and stuff, and. I did a whole video on that, and I and then I did a, like a follow up where I showed like what I'm uh, keeping. Well, uh, just uh, just recently, uh, I think it was I want to say it was last week. I think it was like a week, like last week or like a week and a half ago. Uh, he let me know he had some more stuff, and he actually still had the rest of those uh, Megalith Records uh, CDs. And uh, I said I I said I was interested in the rest of them, and. Uh, there was also one other thing that I wanted as well that he was nice enough to throw in for absolutely free. And uh, he told me that there would also be like a few extra things as well. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the extras are, but uh, yeah, so so I have another package here. Uh, and uh, so, re so I actually ordered, uh, so I actually s sent him the uh, money uh, for this. Uh, I think it was like two days ago. I think it was, I think it actually it was three days ago. I sent him. A, I sent him this last uh, Wednesday. Actually, uh, he sent this out uh, Wednesday, uh, uh, this past Wednesday, uh, and I, I then sent him the money. And the package actually came uh, today. Actually, and uh, for those who don't know, uh, he actually is from Hawaii. So, uh, so for this to come from all the way from uh, Hawaii to to my area in like like two three days. That's pretty insane. But then again, the last package he sent me uh, only took like a week. So, but yeah, this one took like, like less than like less than three days. So, that was kind of uh, surprising. Uh, yeah, but I'm glad it's here, and uh, we are gonna open this. And uh, like I said, I know I know pretty much. I think I I know most of what's in here, but there's probably a few other things that I don't know about. And uh, before I before I do that, because uh, I know I'm gonna. Because I'm sure you can see in the background here, I will have I will have another uh, update video as well. Uh, I actually got some stuff uh, yesterday, uh, which was the 19th. Uh, there's some uh, actually I I'm actually recording. By the way, I'm actually recording this on uh, Saturday, May 20th, but it might be up uh, like Sunday or Monday. I'm not I'm not entirely. Whenever I get around to filming uh, this video, because I do have an update video as well. Uh, I got some stuff on. Uh, Friday the 19th. You can see there's some VHS tapes. Uh, there's some CDs back there which you can't really see because they're kind of covered up. And then there's uh, there's this big thing right here. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what that is, but uh, that's something pretty cool that I found. <laughs> so yeah, so that'll be in a so that'll be in like an upcoming so that'll be in an upcoming uh, update video, and may I'll just do like another uh, follow up to uh, this video as well in it. So anyway, so stay tuned for that. So. Yeah, so so before I unbox this, I just want to say thank you, uh, Punk and Mel Nerd, for uh, sending this to me. And we're going to take a look at what's inside this. Like I said, I already know most of it, but there's probably some stuff that I don't know about, so... Alright, I gotta be... So, uh, so we have my, uh, so, I'm, so we have my, uh, my very trusty, uh, box cutter here. Um, so I'm not sure how exactly I want to go, go about, uh, opening this, uh, gotta be careful not to cut, not to cut.
cut anything inside, so I guess I'll just go along the bottom here. That seems that seems like it'd be the most uh, easiest thing to do. Yeah. So, uh, so, so this, so like I said, uh, so this video will probably uh, go up uh, first, and then, so whenever I do the uh, update video where I show like all this stuff, uh, which will probably be in the next couple of days, uh, I'll probably upload this video and the update video uh, kind of sort of back to back. So. Like and maybe like like two hours apart or something. So stay tuned for that. All right. So enough rambling. Let's cut into this. Like I said, I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. Uh, like I said, I I know most of it, but there's like probably a few bonus things that I don't know about. Oh ho, ho, wow! See, I think so. I believe this is all pretty much. Uh, I think I think this time it's pretty much all uh, CDs. I don't think there's any like VH, any uh, VHS tapes or anything like that. All right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway. Uh, he definitely taped this up uh, pretty good. Oh, man. Well... Well, Ian, uh, I will give you this. Yeah, you, uh, you did. You did tape it up pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. There's. Okay, so there's. Oh, I wonder what that is. So there's all of these ones. Okay, so there is like a bunch of. Uh, bunch of uh, bubble wrap as well in here, so. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, I figured that would probably be in here. Um, oh my goodness. Yep, this is definitely. Oh, really? Ah, uh, ah, okay. All right. So here's there's that. So we can. So I'll probably might just recycle this, or maybe I'll like reuse it for something else later. Actually, we could probably re reuse that for. We could we might be able to reuse that for like Christmas presents or something. Not sure. Oh. We are gonna need this. Uh not gonna need the box cutter anymore, but we will need this for opening some stuff. Okay, so there is so there is so some of this I did know about, but there are some things that I was not expecting. Ooh. That's not good. Alright. Alright, so that's weird. All right, so we're gonna, so we're just gonna separate some stuff. Oh my goodness! Yep. Nothing. None. I thought that was one of the ones he said he was. Okay, so yeah, this so this time it is so this time I was right. It is all CDs. Uh, 
like I said, I knew most of what these were going to be, but there are a few uh, ones that I did not know. There were a few, uh, he did say there would be a few uh, bonus items. So, uh, all right. So, like I said, uh, there's, looks like uh, 18, 19, 20. There's, 20. there's 21 CDs total in this box. Uh, 17 of them I did know about, but there were, there were four bonus items, which, like he's, which he said there would be. So we'll take a look at those first. Uh, so first up, uh, this is kind of interesting. We got a uh, couple, uh, couple loose discs in these, uh, these like little sleeves here. Um, this is, uh, this is two different. Actually, this is two different. What is? Uh, this is kind of weird. So we have, uh, so so we have, so we have just so we have the. It's like just the disc here for uh n uh what is that n r r s i think that's what that says or is it n r p s i'm not exactly sure i'm uh, not sh not sure this band is uh it's it's pretty uh it's pretty heavily uh scratched there so okay that's interesting yeah i'm not sure not sure who that is, but I'm gonna have to maybe look that up. And then it looks like we have the the just the booklet and then the disc for uh what's it the Juliana Hatfield three become what you are. Not sure who that is either. I'm gonna have to maybe look that up and uh this one's this one's a little scratched up too, but not not as not as bad as that other one was. But uh, yeah, so yeah, and then here's the here's the well here's the booklet. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure who this not sure who this is, but uh, still pretty cool. All right. So that's pretty cool. So two random, uh, so two random loose uh, discs there. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, not sure if I'll be keeping this, but I mean, he was probably just trying to get rid of this. So nice of him to uh, send it to me, and I can maybe just like maybe give this to like I don't know, maybe my maybe I'll just give it to my uh, college's uh, radio station. Uh, and then we have uh, another one that's just the disc and the artwork here. This is John Hyatt Little Head. Not sure that is either. Uh, apparently, but apparently, this is a uh, like a promo copy, as you can see right there. So this is like, I guess, a copy that was maybe sent to a radio station or something. Uh, this one's actually. This one's actually not in all that bad of condition, actually. Uh, it's, it's a couple, I mean, there's some light scratches, but nothing too bad. And let's pull a booklet out of this one. So. All right, pretty cool. All right. Yeah, like I said, I don't really know too much about uh, these, but but that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Um, and then there's two other bonus things that actually do have uh, cases. Uh, I guess I'll show this one off. Uh, I, I I I remember him saying he had this, so I figured this was probably one of the ones he was going to throw in for free. This is a uh, oh the disc is. Disc is rattling around in there. Oh, it's because the spindle's broken. No, it's actually. No, I didn't get. Thankfully, it didn't get too uh, scratched up. But uh, 
Yeah, so this is a uh, introducing Sony Classical. This is a introducing Sony Classical uh, sampler. Highlights from the debut release. Um, let's see. Uh, has Vladimir Horowitz, Murray Parahia, Isaac Stern, uh, Jean Pierre Rampal, uh, Diedrich Fischer Diskau, uh, Zubin Meta, Berlin Philharmonic, Vienna Philharmonic, and more. So pretty cool. So like a so like a little sample of uh, some classical music. Nothing wrong with that. It's like there it's like there's uh, twelve uh, tracks on here, and it's, it's for it says for demonstration only. So this was something that was given like to be played in stores, basically. So that's actually kind of cool. I probably will I probably will hold on to this um, just because it's. Uh, Interesting. And here is that. So yeah, there's the frontier. And uh, it's got this. And it says other Sony classical releases available spring 1990. And there's the back of it. So that's pretty cool. And we'll, and yeah, this little piece right there broke off, so. And here is the, here's the actual disc for it. it says something classical hides from the debut release. And yeah, the case, as you see, the case was unfortunately, uh, broken but uh yeah thank thankfully the disc uh looks like the disc didn't get scratched up too badly in shipping so that's good yeah there's actually i mean it's a little it's total scuffs but not not too bad so this one actually did make it through okay even though the case got busted up but yeah pretty cool so yeah so i'm so i am going to uh so yeah i just have to i'm going to uh completely replace the uh, case on this so i'll have to get a new front and uh put a new uh, spindle but not a big deal i have other spare uh spindles and stuff that i can that i can use so won't be too much of a problem but that's pretty cool so i'll probably keep uh probably keep that one so and then this and then here's the last uh bonus item before we get to the ones i didn't know was coming this is pretty cool he actually threw in a uh a POD uh, album. This is uh, Payable on Death. Uh, P uh, POD is an out. Uh, I'm. I mean, I. I certainly know who POD is, but I'm not too familiar with their uh, music. But uh, yeah. But now that I have this, uh, maybe I'll get more into their uh, music. It's very cool. What year is this? Oh, this is 2000. This is from 2003. So pretty cool that he uh I guess I guess this was a spare copy he had or maybe he didn't want this anymore, I'm not sure. And it is a you can see it is an, an enhanced CD as well. Uh this enhanced CD includes bonus video footage. Uh the CD also unlocks a special secret website giving you exclusive access to download the song Space. Secret website is not accessible is not accessible from a Macintosh computer. See minimum requirements for more information. And bonus disc. This package includes a limited edition bonus disc for your PlayStation 2 system with a demo version of the video game Amplitude developed exclusively for this album. Plus a 50-minute feature inside POD Culture and more. Demo rated T for Team. Oh wow. Does this actually have the bonus disc? I'll have to find that out. And uh yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh secret website uh probably does probably no longer exists since this album is from actually wow, 2003, yeah. So this album is from 20 years ago. Holy crap. Can't believe 2000 can't believe 2003 was uh 20 years ago already. That's pretty cool. So oh. 
Okay. Okay. So it's so it's two discs uh, just kind of stacked on top of each other. But uh, so here's the so here's the actual here's the actual CD. And uh, and it's in it's in decent it's in decent shape. A uh, you know, few few light uh, scratches, but uh, should st should still play, I would assume. And then here here is the uh, PlayStation Two uh, like bonus uh, disc. So that's cool and. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, looks like just some uh, some smudges on this, but otherwise uh, pretty minty. So that's cool. Um, and uh, here's the inside here. Uh, it talks about uh, just talks about the PlayStation Two uh, bonus disc and. Here's this. No, oh, it comes with like a little, little uh, thing right here. Little card thing. That's kind of neat. And here's the booklet. Which we'll just quickly go through. All right. So that's pretty cool as well. So So yeah, it's not so yeah, it's not 100% mint unfortunately, probably because there was probably because it was two discs uh, stacked, but so that's cool. So yeah, I might uh might keep this, might just sell it. Not sure yet, but pretty cool. They threw in some, threw in some uh, POD there. Okay, so is that? Um, yeah, I think that's it for the. That's it for the bonus items. Just, so we got. Uh, so we got some. So so far we got some random uh, loose discs here. Uh, a pretty cool. Uh, a pretty cool sampler and some uh, some POD. So that's cool. All right. So that was the bonus items. But now into the stuff that I knew was definitely coming to me. So we have all of these CDs right here. And these are ones I knew about. Um, so first one, uh, unfortunately, the as you see, the uh, case of this got uh, kind of kind of busted up and uh oh oh my god this this is totally uh coming apart there ooh and yeah disc is and this one disc is pretty scratched on that one but what are you gonna do but uh I'll show I'll show you what it is it's a uh It's a pl plastic compilation volume one. This is a uh, this is a uh, collection of like looks like uh, like techno and uh, club uh, remixes of songs by different artists. So there's things like Underworld, Garbage, Sarah McLaughlin, Chemical Brothers, 
stuff like that. Sides. Back here. And yep. This is from 1997. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah, the case, unfortunately the case of this one completely broke, but what are you gonna do? All right, and here is the uh, the disc for it. There's the disc. And like I said, it is it is pretty heavily scratched as well, unfortunately, but what are you, what are you, what are you gonna do? So that's pretty cool. So that kind of that kind of stinks because uh, this was something I was interested in, but yeah, maybe I'll still keep it. Maybe I'll still keep this. Maybe I won't. But uh, still, pretty cool. All right. So this, but this is the thing I was most excited about that I knew I was going to be getting. So these were all of the rest of the uh, Megalith uh, Records uh, CDs that he had. Uh, uh, for those, who, uh, uh, I'll probably put the. Uh, unboxing the uh, link to the uh, make lift records video he did uh, in the description of this video and uh, so yeah so you can check that out and you can also check out uh, the other the unboxing video from last year where I uh, unboxed a whole bunch of other make lift records uh, CDs yeah so I picked out a bunch of them last year and then this was the this was the rest of them so he just gave them all to me <laughs> so all right so this is where things get pretty crazy so uh, there's a, there's a bit of the, uh, case to the, uh, plastic thing. So we'll discard that. Okay. So first up, uh, so we'll just, uh, yeah, so it's pretty much all the ones I was expecting, and there was one, there was one extra one they threw in for free. Okay. So first up, these are cool. We have, we have we have three, three different, uh, and these, so this is, so these are all, uh, like, Megalith Records releases, so this is all kind of like, uh, international, uh, ska music, for those who don't know. So first up, we have three different, uh, Blaster Master CDs. We got, uh, we have, uh, we have, uh, Blaster Master Two-Tone Bastards, the story of the Blaster Master, and then we have two different... This kind of, I, I realized this uh, after I, I kind of realized this we, we have two different releases of blaster master rude boy life uh, so see I see I realized uh, like after he sent this out that I was gonna be getting two different releases of the same uh, album and uh, yeah from what I can tell uh, so yeah it's the same album it's just this one actually comes with a few a few extra bonus tracks so so yeah it's the same so it's the same songs on both of them it's just this one comes with a few bonus songs so so i'm probably gonna be opening this one up and uh i'll probably just keep this one sealed and uh i don't know give it to let let someone else have this one but uh, i am i am gonna i am gonna probably keep uh these two so all right so so yeah we'll put we'll just put that one aside so because it's actually Actually, this one, this is actually, uh, yeah, this is actually a 2008, yeah, this one's from 2008, and this one's a re-release from 2009, so there you go. 
All right, so let's, uh, so we're gonna open all these, and pretty much most of these are all, uh, sealed, so we're gonna open them up on, on camera. So, uh, so we're, so we'll start with, uh, two, uh, Blaster Master, Two Tone Bastard, Story of the Blaster Master. Okay, so, here's front, side, and the back here. So we got 18 songs on here, so that's pretty cool. So is this, uh, huh, I was realizing this, this, so is this like a, I'm just looking at, actually I'm looking at the, I'm guessing this is, so I'm guessing this is like a greatest hits I'm guessing, so that's what it looks like, because there are some, because like some of the songs from here, from this one are on here as well, so I think this is like a best of, I think. You see, this one's actually, yeah, most of these are by Megalift, but some of them are by other companies. So this one's actually released by Rocking Records. So pretty cool. This is from 2012. This one. All right, so we're going to open this one up. Yeah, this, this might be a... Uh, this is probably going to be a pretty long uh, video, just so you guys know, which is why I, is why I chose to do this one on the webcam instead of on my phone like I normally do. <laughs> all right. See, so, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. See, yeah, these all. See, so, yeah, I'm definitely gonna open all these up and uh, probably get them on, get these on my iPod like immediately. <laughs> Is why I want to open open them up right now. All right, so let's put all the wrapping and stuff into like a big pile there. So here it is again, and let's see this. Oh, pretty, very cool. So. So yeah, here is the, here's the disc. And, uh, here's the. Here's the inside here. See, there's there's that, and then the inside right there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah all these uh all these Megalith uh, Records ones and all these other uh, international ska ones. I'm definitely gonna keep. I know I'm definitely gonna keep the other the other stuff. I have to think about, but uh, that's pretty cool. And like I said, uh, so yeah, this uh, this Rude Boy Life one, uh, I'll probably just keep this one uh, sealed and let somebody else have it. But we will open this one. Again, this is the 2009, uh, so yeah, this was originally released in 2008 by Ballet Entertainment, however you say that. But this is the 2009 re-release by Megalith Records. So pretty cool. See, it's the same cover, just different colors. So here's the sides and the back, which is like this for some reason. Like I said, this one, this one has a few bonus tracks that are not on this release, so that's why I prefer to keep this one. And yep. All right, so let's get this open. Wow, this. I don't know how long this has been recording, but uh, definitely probably been at least a half hour already. <laughs> to totally worth it, though. <laughs>
not I mean not not that I uh I mean not that I haven't not that I haven't already been known for doing updates that are way over an hour, so <laughs> All right, and let's take a look at this. So let's open it up here. Ah, very cool. And here's the disc. Yep, there's the disc there. Very cool, and uh, well, there's the, the, not really much on the inside there. But, what are you going to do? And here's this. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm definitely keeping this one. So I'm, so I'm definitely... I'm definitely keep... I'm definitely keeping definitely keeping these two. All right, so, so pretty cool. All right, so that's enough. So that's it for the Blaster Master stuff. But now, but we still got a whole lot to go here. Uh, so, um, was, yeah, one of these. Yeah. I think I heard, I think one of these sound like they had a loose uh, disc inside, so I'll have to see which one it is. I thought it was this one. See, I want, see, I wanted these uh, sound like they had a loose uh, disc inside, so we'll have to see which one that is. Oh, actually, okay, it is this one, so I'm going to open this one up right now because I just want to make sure the disc is, make sure the disc is okay. Ah, uh, see the case. Yeah, the case. This one broke up a little bit, but the, di the disc is actually good. All right. So, yeah, yeah. The 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 spindle. The couple pieces of the uh, spindle broke on this one, but uh, that's all right. I got plenty of uh, replace. I've got. I can always. Uh, I can always you. I can always uh, replace the uh, the spindle, and we'll be good to go here. So anyway, this one is the drop steppers get up in it. Once again, another one by Megalith Records. This is from 2011. So cool. See, so yeah, I'm going to try to go fast with the rest of these. Uh, so here's what the disc looks like on this one. There's a disc to that one. And then, yeah, there's nothing on the inside, just plain red there. And, again, the spindle's broke, but I can fix that. And there you go. So that's pretty cool. And okay, yeah, I'm just gonna. So yeah, so, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep that one. I'm just gonna keep the disc out of that one until I until I fix the uh, the hub the uh, spindle. But very cool. All right. So next one. Next one is uh, pepper pots. I'm just going. I'm just. These are in no particular order. I'm just uh, tossing them together. Ah, uh, the pepper pots train to your lover. So 
This one's by Megalith Fan. Looks like a whole bunch of other different uh, like labels as well, which is interesting. Oh, I see. Label by two of them record labels, and then that's their management and their booking. That's pretty cool. This one's from 2011 as well. So let's see. Megalith Records, Ska Music Label. So yeah, this one looks pretty cool as well. So I'm looking forward to uh, me checking this out. All right. And this one's actually already kind of coming open from the side, so I can just rip right into this one. All right. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So here's the disc, and you see that? Look at that. This one actually looks like a, uh, design actually look like a, uh, like a, like a record, like a 75. So that's, so that's pretty cool. There's the inside there. And is this stuck? Oh, no, it's not. So there's a little thing from uh, Bob Oshlin, whoever that is. So pretty cool. Alright, so then we have uh, Kingston Kitchen Today's Special. Is this like a cover band? Huh. It looks like this might be a cover band. I could be I could be I could be totally mistaken about that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um so yeah, this one is this one's actually from 2007. Yeah, I don't I don't know what any of these bands are, but they look but they but they're pretty but they all look like they all look pretty interesting, so Okay, let's open this one now. Actually, I'll put this one over here. Oh, that's not going to come off. All right. 
and here's the disc here. Very interesting kind of plain red disc right there. And huh, I'm liking the booklet on this one. So here it is, and then, okay, well, here's, here's the, here's the inside here. Here's, there's that. It says today's special delicacies prepared with the finest ingredients cooked up by Kingston Kitchen. And then there's like a little fake little fake uh, menu there with the with the uh, with the track listing and like funny descriptions. And the price they have listed is the actual uh, runtime of the of the tracks. I'm assuming anyway. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, and then this this next one's kind of uh, surprising. I didn't expect I didn't expect him to throw in throw in this as well. Uh, this is Mile Twenty One, the self titled uh, album. Uh, yeah, I. I, I'm surprised because uh, if you see in the uh, Megalith Records uh, unboxing video, which again I'll put a link down below to that, um, uh, he I remember he said there were like there were four titles he was keeping, and he said this was one of them. So I guess he changed his mind. I'm not sure, but whatever. It's it's not it's in my collection now, so I'm not going to complain. But uh, yeah. So here's the sides. So yeah, this one was opened. This one's already been opened, as you can see. I'll, and this one also got a little busted, but no worries, I can fix that. So yeah, I guess he. Uh, so yeah, I remember him saying he was gonna keep this one, but I guess he didn't want it anymore. So he sent it to me. That's okay. I'll. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Uh, this one's also from 2007. And yeah, the case is broken, but I can fix that easily. And yep, it's mint. Here's the disc. So very cool. And yeah, so I'll just put a put a put a, put a different uh front under this one and we'll be good to go. So very cool. Alright, so we still got a whole bunch more left, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still got ten more. Uh, this is it's gonna be the longest video I've done in a while. But it is, it is what it is. All right, so we're gonna go quick, try to go fast with these. Uh, the Scorchers, Stunnin, or Stunnin, however you say it.
So, yep, uh, when was this one from? As long as she doesn't even see the year. <laughs> yeah, not sure. <laughs> Oh, sounds like the disc is listening here as well. So I'll have to see about that. All right, so let's... Probably, not, probably another busted uh, spindle. Oh. Oh wow, case of this one completely broke. Yikes, that's not good. There's all kinds of this one's from 2006. I'm not su surprising the disc is actually okay. So this is from so this one's from 2006. But uh yeah, so yeah, some of these do get some of these did get a little uh, damaged in uh, transit, but not a big deal. I can always, like I said, I can always get uh, replace. Re oh, yeah, there's all there's all kinds of hold on, all kinds of little pieces falling off it, pieces falling off of these. Yeah, you can see even even the bottom of the case here kind of broke a bit, but uh, that's all right. But uh, yeah, here's here's the disc. It's the disc to that one, and here's the inside here. Okay, and nope, no worries, I can easily replace that as well. It's the inside here. All right. So. All right. So I'm just gonna keep the disc out of that one. I'm just gonna keep the disc out of that one as well until I get a better uh, spindle for it. There's the drop steppers. And that one. All right, so that's so that's so that's uh, actually. I'll, hold on, I'm gonna re, I'm gonna just rearrange some stuff here. Okay, yeah, I just kind of uh, rearranged some stuff there. 
Hold on. Oh, excuse me. All right. So, oh, this is this this is gonna take a while, guys. Uh, so we have two and a half white guys, leather jack, leather jackets, and mustache wax. I I didn't realize that was the name of the that was the title of the album. Okay. Well, that type that name alone has me uh sold on this one. All right. Megalith Records, a ska record label run by ska fans. Yeah, something I did notice on these, uh, the Megalith Records logo right here, a lot of times says different things uh, down at the bottom. Uh, wow, this one, this one's from 2004, actually. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize this one was from that long ago. So it's almost, so it's almost 20 years old. It'll be 20 years old next year. Wow. So yeah, this one's pretty cool as well. So open up this one. Okay. And there's disc. Disc looks like on that. And there's the inside. And here's the inside of the booklet. And you can see it makes kind of, well, not really, actually. I thought it made like a little mural, but very cool. All right, uh, I can see this one. I can see this one has a bit of a crack right there, but I can replace again. I can replace that. But this is Don Segundo Censura. Oh yeah, the case. This one's a little. This ca this case is definitely busted, but I can replace that. Don Segundo Censura. I think that's how you say that. But not sure. Has a broken silence uh, sticker on the back there. Whatever that is. Uh, this one's from 2008. So, yep. All right, disc, CD, and Yeah, and I know I, I know I kind of uh, stopped like showing the. I recently kind of stopped showing the booklets and stuff on my CDs, but uh, I will make I will make the exception for this one. 
So, so yeah, I just gotta replace the just gotta replace the front on that one, and we'll be good to go. Oh, the heck! I don't know what that was. All right, so yeah, this, yeah, I, I knew this one. Oh, sounds like we got another loose disc. So I'm gonna open this one up immediately. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one can... Ha! Huh. What? The disc complete... The disc is, mi disc is minty. Even, even though the... Even though the... Even though the... Center thing is... Not only, not only is that completely busted, but look at that. And the back as well. Yeah, I think this one, this one definitely, this one definitely got like crushed or something at some point. So I will have to, so yeah, some of these cases I will have to replace, but again, not a big deal. There's all kinds of loose pieces, so. So yeah, even though these so even though these uh cases so even though a lot of these cases uh did get uh damaged the uh with the with, with the exception of that uh plastic one uh the discs on all these have have actually been fine even though the cases have been broken on some of them which is pretty good uh cuz i have had there i have had some instances where the cases have gotten broken in shipping but the and then the disc unfortunately does get a little scratched up like uh if you remember that uh that they might be giants uh, severe tire damage SE, uh, which thankfully I did replace, so that's good. But anyway, so I didn't even say the name of this one. This is Westbound Train Searching for a Melody. Back. Uh wow, this one's from this one's two this one's from 2003, so this is so this one's from 20 years ago. All ska, all the time. Nice. And yeah, here's what the disc looks like. So ah, how long have I been going for this? That probably at least an hour at this point. If not more, if you, if you guys actually sit through this whole thing, I envy you. All right, so I'm just gonna put that one aside for right now as well. Put the, yeah, see all the ones that uh, the cases came broken on. I'm just uh, putting them kind of aside there, and then I'll just replace the cases uh, later. All right, so we so we got one, two, three, four, five. We got six more. This is definitely gonna be like at least an hour and a half long video. I'm I'm thinking. Next one, uh, Red Five Point Star Worst Case Scenario.
so yeah, this one looks pretty good as well. Uh, this one's from this one's from 2011, and this one's are also already kind of coming open on the side. So once again, I don't need this. Well, maybe I do. Okay, just gotta cut. Come on, cut through this. Oh wow! I said the case. I thought this was like a white uh, case, but it's actually kind of maybe dark grayish or something. Disc. There it is. All right, so next one, Bigger Thomas, We Wear the Mask, which, that's yeah, a very bizarre cover art right there. Sides, top, uh, uh, top, what am I, back. <laughs> I like how the title track is actually highlighted in red on the back there. This one says, "Biggest bigger ska for a bigger world." Um, when is this one? This one's two thousand five. Okay, now let's open this. Disc. And here's the inside right there. Track listing says some stuff right there. Pretty cool. And Okay. All right, four more guys. Uh, actually, we'll we'll save yeah we'll save that one for la we'll save that one for last actually because that's pretty cool. Uh, Keezer Soze the Remedy.
So it's that big, big sound. This one's actually from Megalith Records and Rocking Records. Pretty cool. Uh, this one's from... Well, this one's only from 2013, actually. So it's only from 10 years ago. Which I still find that hard to... I still find that hard to believe that uh, 2013 was 10 years ago. Oh, and it has that broken silence thing on the back. Like, just like that other one. Okay, let's open this one. All right, and here is the disc. And there's like some kind of, there's some like poem or something on the inside there. Or whatever that is. And actually this one's just a front and a back. There's not even any booklets. All right. Uh, let's see. This is the big, the big whatever makes you happy. Oh wow, this I didn't realize. Holy crap. This is actually from both Megalith Records and Moon Ska World. Look at that, guys. Ha. Huh. That's pretty cool. So this is from Moon Ska World and Megalith. That's pretty awesome. Uh as you guys know, if you guys remember my last unboxing video, I got a a CD that was from Moon Scout World, which was uh, The Obsessions, The New Heavyweight Champion. So this one's from Moon Scout World as well, but it's also from Megalith. So that's cool. I didn't realize it was from both of those companies. Or, or labels, whatever you want to say. Uh, and this one's from 2007. Alright, so let's... Crack into this one. And that's already kind of coming up on the bottom, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's, let's do this how we normally do it. All right. Wow, this, this is so cool. Here's the disc. What's it say on this one? Big, bigger ska makes us happy. I would agree with that. So 
See at the end. There's the inside here with, I'm guessing that's them like performing live. So pretty cool. Now it's actually pretty much it was originally released in 2006, but this is a 2007 re-release. Yeah, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to read this kind of hard to read text on this one because of the uh, the kind of uh, camouflage uh, colors that they used. All right, then uh, looks like this one looks like it did get a little uh, waterlogged or something at one point, but that's okay. This is Buford O'Sullivan, the Club of Hopes and Fears. Yeah, this one see is a little. Yeah, you can see that it's like it got a little. Mo it's like it got a little moisture on it or something at some point, but. That's okay, as long, as long as the disc is fine. That's what really matters. Actually, this one is... Oh, that's right, this one... Actually, this one isn't even from uh, Make a Lift. This is actually from Moon Ska Records and uh, Ska Satellite. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is from... This is from 1999. So this is the old, probably the oldest one in the box, I'm thinking. Yeah. The CD is available from, like how it says, the CD is available from Moonska for $8. Well, probably not anymore. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. And there's a little bit of a crack right there on the back, but that's okay. All right. Hopefully the actual booklet, hopefully the actual artwork didn't get too messed up. But the... Ooh. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to have to... Oh, it is kind of... Alright, well, this, this case is definitely going to have to be replaced, I think. But... Oh! Okay, and... Ooh, oh dear. That's... That's not good. Oh. Well, shoot. Oh, that's that's not good. Well, yeah, the yeah, this one definitely I think got wet at some point. Uh you can see it actually it actually kind of stuck to the disc a little bit. That's that's kind of a bummer. And it's just a front and a back, there's no booklet. And the case is completely coming apart once again. Huh. Well that well that well, that kind of stinks. All right. Well, at least only have at least only one of them got uh, got got at least only. That's weird. Why is it only one of them though? That's a little weird. Maybe. They... All right. Well, unfortunately, this one uh, I think definitely got uh, exposed to the elements at some point, and unfortunately, it it got on the uh, unfortunately got we yeah the artwork kind of stuck to the uh, disc there. Well, that's kind of a shame, but uh, oh well. So pro so probably not gonna don't know if I'm gonna probably not gonna keep uh, this one. Just because, just because of, 
just because it is all like messed up. But that's that's still pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm not obviously I'm not gonna blame uh, my friend for this. It probably just came like that or something. But uh, yeah, but so that's pretty cool. So might try to see if I can get like a get a better uh, copy of that at some point. So all right. So at least don't, at least it was only at least that only happened to one of them. So that's good. And the last one, uh, this is actually pretty cool, uh, and uh, I'll explain why. And that is uh, the Void Union, the self-titled album. Now, uh, if you uh, if you if you remember uh, from my last if you remember my last unboxing, uh, he sent me uh, Punk Nerdus. He sent me uh, another Void Union album, which was Higher Guns. I knew we had this one as well, and. Uh, yeah, so very cool that I now got both uh, Void Union albums that he had. So that's pretty cool. So here's the sides and the back. So yep, uh, this is from 2008. All right, so this is the last one, by the way, like I said. So hopefully this one didn't get, like, wa waterlogged or something. All right, we're good with this one, thankfully. Thank God. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that other one, but uh, at least we were good with this. At least we're good with this one. But uh, so here's the disc. And here's the inside right here. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, this this does feature oh my gosh. Oh. So wow, just like the so just like the uh other Void Union album, this one also features uh peop people uh, from uh different uh from different uh ska from different ska bands. Look at this. Oh, oh Punkter, you don't want to see this. So so yeah, so you yeah, have one song see feature you can see uh featuring Dan Reagan of Real Big Fish. Uh featuring track nine featuring Chris Rhodes of Mighty Mighty Boston's. Uh what else is on here? Uh one track features somebody golding of the specials. Featuring Rick Johnson of Muster Plug. Holy crap. And there's like all these other, and in the thanks it lists all these other different uh, bands as well. Wow, I'm actually pretty glad I saved this one for last. Now, yeah, because I knew that I knew that other one that other Void Union album uh, featured other uh, artists from different bands on it, but I didn't realize this one did as well. Oh, and there's like the full uh, artwork there. So that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to check this out. <laughs> now that I know that all those other uh, people are on there. So very cool.
All right, so that is everything. So there's kind of a so there's kind of a little uh, just a little view of everything that was in there. All right, so that is everything that was in this package that I got from my friend uh, uh, Ian, aka Punk and Metal Nerd Four. All right, so like I said, definitely, so definitely some, definitely some stuff. So a lot of stuff that I, I already know I am definitely going to want to keep. And then some other stuff that uh, I got to decide, uh, just decide what to, uh, decide what to do with. Um, hey. Like I said, some stuff I'm definitely keeping, and some stuff that I gotta decide what I'm what I'm gonna do with. Uh, so I'm, but yeah, so I'm de so I'm definitely keeping uh, all. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm I'm de I'm definitely keeping. So I'm definitely keeping all. Uh, I, I'm definitely keeping all uh, 15 of these uh, Megalith records, and well, a couple of these are, a couple of these are other ones as well. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely keeping all 15 of these uh, Megalith records uh, CDs right here. Uh, so, like I said, some of these I do have to uh, replace the cases too. But this, uh, once I fix them up, they'll be they'll look uh, beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping I'm definitely keeping all 15 of these. Uh, like I said, this, uh, this other, uh, Blaster Master, uh, this is a, uh, this is, this is a, uh, a, a, a du this is actually a duplicate, so I'll just, uh, probably just give that to, uh, donate this or just give it to somebody else. Uh, like I said, unfortunately the, uh, Buford Old Sullivan one, uh, definitely, uh, definitely got, uh, wet at some point, uh. Yeah, I don't know what happened to this, but, uh, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna, definitely probably not gonna keep this, or probably just gonna get rid of this one, just cause it is so, uh, messed up, so, that's kind, of, that's kind of a shame, but hey, at least, at least only, like I said, at least only, out of all these CDs, at least only one of them got messed up like that, so, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, I probably won't be able to, uh, keep this one, just cause it is so messed up, so, I might just tr probably just try to find like a better. Uh, hopefully, it's, I'll maybe try to find like a better copy at some point. Maybe maybe I'll see if uh, Discogs has any copies uh, listed. Hopefully, they're not. Uh, hopefully, they're not uh, too expensive. And then, uh, yeah, let's then let's see. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I won't be able to keep that. And then, uh, I am I am probably going to keep the. Uh, Sony classical thing here, uh, because that's just kind of, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, and, th and then this stuff, I gotta decide what I want to do with, uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the loose discs here, I'll figure out what to do with those, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I might, might keep the POD, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, maybe I'll keep that, maybe I won't, and then, uh, I was pretty excited about the, uh, plastic compilation here, but, uh, it is pretty scratched, so I pro probably actually won't, uh, won't, won't keep that one, uh, unfor unfortunately, even though I was kind of excited about it. Oh my god, yeah, this thing's destroyed. But, uh, yeah, so, some stuff I gotta figure out what to do with, uh, a CD that, uh, I'll have to... Find a replacement of uh, something I'm gonna probably keep. Uh, something I'm probably just gonna sell off or donate or whatever, and then a ton of stuff that I know I'm definitely keeping. So uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, so hope you guys I enjoyed this uh, incredibly long uh, video. Uh, it's probably probably at least an hour and a half at this point. So, uh, 
hope you hope you were able hope you guys uh, actually sat through this uh whole thing and uh yeah so and i and i'd like to say once again uh thank you to uh pumpkin metal nerd 4 for uh sending me like all all of all of this uh stuff right here so uh yeah and again stay tuned for uh for my uh for my next uh, update video which will probably be in like a couple of days and uh and uh yeah when i do whenever i do that i'll probably upload this video plus the update video uh kind of back to back uh so yeah maybe maybe i'll make this like the bonus video or something i'm not haven't really decided yet but uh yeah so so i got a lot of so i got a lot of stuff that i got to so yeah i got a lot of stuff to uh that i gotta figure out what to do with so i i've got got my work cut out for me with this uh this big uh this big uh uh box of stuff here plus all of that stuff so fun all right so that's it so again hope you guys enjoyed this and once again i'd like to say thank you to Pumpkin Milner 4 for uh sending me all this and uh yeah and uh like i said i'm very surprised that all th that this uh box uh came within like two days because i was not expecting it to go that fast <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so not much more else to say, so, uh, as always, uh, thank you all for watching, uh, I know this was probably a very long video, but, again, it's, like I said, it's gonna be the first time I did, like, a super long, uh, video like this, uh, so hope you enjoyed this, and, as always, I will see y'all next time, which will probably be an update video, unless I decide to make this the bonus video, which, yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned, so, alright, so that's it, and, as always, I will see y'all next time, and, as always, have a good one, guys. Peace. Okay, and stop.